This is an open letter to his strange sons and daughters. I've been doing a little studying, reading, Googling, whatever you want to call it. And I thought, you want to be estranged from your parents and you don't want them to be a part of your life. You have told people your parents don't exist, they're dead, they're in jail, they're this, they're that, or they're sick, and you've banned everyone from talking about them. I'm going to cordially invite you to look into laws in your state to find out if you can have your parents' names removed from your birth certificate. The reason why is because if you were raised by your parents and their name is on your birth certificate and you they were guardians over you until you turned 18, chances are if you get sick and fall into a coma and they need a pint of blood from someone who's a match, the hospital is going to reach out to your biological parent and say, just, just wanting to know if there's any medical decisions that have to be made on behalf of so-and-so. Would you donate a pint of blood, etc.? So biological parents who were actively involved in their children's lives do have certain rights. You know, I'm sure even if my husband and I are married, I'm sure his mother after that would be next of kin along with his son. So there's protocols put in place to keep people safe. But most important, if you want to look into having a biological parent removed from your birth certificate, I heard in one instance it can be done if your biological parent agrees and someone else is willing to adopt you and take their place. So let's just say you have a biological parent that agrees someone else is willing to adopt you. That means you are wiped free and clear. You can change your name to their you adopted parents last year. You can, you can make all sorts of changes. You can change your driver's license, everything. So you're no longer connected to that person. You can change your name to whatever you want. But most importantly, it removes certain rights they have over you, even as adults, the, the right for them to make certain decisions. Let's just say your father passes away and your mother, the one you're estranged from, is the only living parent. And you're divorced and this and that, and you're in a pickle. You don't want them to reach out to you, the mom you estranged from. So you can go through the process of having them removed from your birth certificate, but it also, also alleviates you from having to deal with your parents as they get older. And it also takes care of your inheritance. You will no longer have to worry about your parents' money. You won't have to worry about their things, cleaning up their house, whether they're a hoarder or not, or they have too much property or not enough property. You're alleviated completely from that responsibility. So with that said, um, I cordially invite you to take those steps. It might be pricey, and you might have to see your biological parent or your estranged parent in the courtroom, but I'm guaranteeing you, I want to give you the sheer satisfaction of seeing their face as you part ways and you finally won. I'm just wondering, I, I just saying, call, contact your lawyer, kind of see what your rights you have in your state and go in that direction. Because I'm sure after a certain point in time, a lot of parents, estranged parents, are ready and willing. Because then they don't have to change the will, then they can just go and leave their worldly possessions to whomever, whether it's a cat sanctuary, a church, or their neighbor, or their best friend. It's going to alleviate all of your stress because you're no longer connected to them. Isn't that what you want? That's all I've got, and I'll be back.